If you want to create AI generated videos, you have to use Runway Gen 4 or Kling 2.0. This way you can not only save a lot of time and money, but also get the best results. Let's start without further ado with the direct comparison between Runway Gen 4 and Kling 2.0. Step 1. Image to video prompting requires images. My platform of choice for this is Midjourney. I use the new draft mode to refine the images down to the last detail. You can see the images that we are evaluating here for this video in this grid of nine. I deliberately made sure that we highlighted subjects of varying complexity. For example, the camera movements, the change of perspective, the movement of complex things in relation to each other. How do runway and cling work with light and shadow? Are there different things to consider when we choose historical or futuristic themes? How consistent is the color representation in the video? How are facial expressions interpreted? And finally, because the various AI video platforms can make this medium particularly strong, dramatic, and interesting, how is smoke and fire handled? You may already know it from my other tutorials. This time too, I have chosen this grid in which I juxtapose the two platforms. Runway Gen 4 in the turbo version on the left and Kling 2.0 on the right. If we take a quick look at the bottom left of each box, we can see the cost per video at the time of recording this tutorial. The direct comparison is quite shocking. Kling 2.0 is pretty expensive. If you want to utilize the prompts I used to create the nine videos, just go to the description below and copy them. In the first example, we see the Viking on a deck chair. He is sucking on his ice cream and laughing heartily. A wonderful realization in which many details are right, but only with Kling. That's why Kling 2.0 is the winner here. The next example takes us into the distant future. We see a spaceship at the moment of takeoff. Both are well realized, but you can't help but be excited when you see runway's interpretation. First the headlights come on, and then the spaceship lifts off very gently and smoothly. Very lifelike realization. The next example takes us back to the year 1863, the time of the American Civil War. A general of the Union Army stands next to two ships and laughs heartily. Runway looks much more static. In both versions, we notice that the AI generally has no problem with smoke and flags. Kling is the winner here precisely because the character looks so lifelike. We remain in the year 1863. A Union Army warship is sailing down the Potomac River. Soldiers are preparing for deployment. The point here goes to runway. Why, despite the camera panning, the AI manages to keep the ship in focus as it moves. Here again, smoke and flag are very well implemented. Only the people look a bit static. I assume that riding a zebra is on most people's bucket list. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Riding through a muddy savanna. Both versions are at eye level. The water movement, the landscape, the animal and the overall effect very well realized. I have already covered the topic of facial expressions in detail with other AI video platforms. You are welcome to watch my videos on the subject of One AI, Sora, VO, Skyreels and similar. In this comparison, Runway literally shows more teeth and makes the result more Joker-like. Special attention was paid to the hair this time. If you look closely, you can see that Runway interprets it more as an immobile separate layer. This also doesn't look ideal. That's why the winner for me is Kling. Who doesn't know the legend of fire and ice? Here's an example inspired by Game of Thrones. A fighter of the Northmen sleeps in a dark fortress. First, the camera turns slightly around the person, who then gets up and walks to the window. Kling 2.0 does this masterfully, and also maintains the consistency of the person. In the next example, the prompt was, move the beach ball to the left and change the depth of field so that the ship in the background is in focus and the ball in the foreground gets blurred. In runway, the ball remains stationary. Only the ship in the background moves with the waves. Kling masters this task with flying colors. The ball rolls to the left and the ship is in focus. Clear winner, Kling. The last example takes us to the French Empire. An officer stands in the middle of a battlefield smoke and fire everywhere. But that doesn't seem to bother both gentlemen. They enjoy their lives and bow to the audience. In this case, of course, the camera. There's no real winner. 
In Kling's realisation, it is a little unfortunate that the people at the back right morph a little too much. Runway is a little more static. That's it for the video comparison. Based on these nine different tasks, we were able to get a good picture. Both platforms are similarly strong, with a slight advantage for Kling. Ultimately, the price will certainly be the deciding factor. I hope that Kling will make a few adjustments here and lower it, because you burn through your credits relatively quickly this way. This makes the platform only interesting for professional users. Let me now explain the user interface of both platforms in the last part. If you want to use Kling 2.0, simply enter klingai.com. This will take you to this website. Click on Create in the top right-hand corner, and you will be redirected to the overview page. There you will also find the Quick Start, a cross-reference that takes you to the Kling Help pages. Back on the main page, click on Video Kling 2.0 in the navigation on the left. This will take you to the actual video creation dashboard. The entire interface is relatively clear and user-friendly. On the left, we can see a few basic functions, but today we are concentrating on video generation. At the top left, we can select the Kling model used. We recommend using the new 2.0 model in any case. After all, it is the best. Let's briefly evaluate the text to video function. You can simply copy your prompt here. You can also use existing examples as a reference. Further down, you have the option of inserting negative prompts. These are keywords that the AI should not take into account. Further down, you can define the duration, aspect ratio, and number of outputs. The same, of course, also applies to the image to video function. Here you can upload the image of your choice. You can insert the prompt here. As with text to video, simply copy it in. If you want to get inspiration for your camera from Kling, simply click on Inspiration and Presets. This activates a sub-menu from which you can select one of the suggested camera movements. This will be included in your prompt. Further down again, the negative prompts. Here you can also define the duration and number of outputs. My recommendation, five seconds and one output. If you choose 10 seconds and several outputs, this will quickly add up. It's currently quite expensive. Each video costs a whopping 100 credits. If we have now uploaded an image and inserted a prompt, the corresponding video is displayed on the right. On the left, you can see the corresponding image that I have uploaded below the prompt. Very important in this context, copy these two words at the end of each prompt, muted colors. This forces the AI platform to ensure that there are no outliers in terms of colors. In my experience, this also prevents videos from becoming too high in contrast. And that's really not good at all, because if there are constantly undesired color changes, the video clips, especially in a longer film project, are not usable. You can download the video here. Now a brief insight into Runway. Just use runwayml.com. Then you will be taken to this homepage. Click on Get Started at the top right. You will then be redirected to your dashboard. The key section here is New Session, with Generate Image, Generate Video, and Act 1. Before we move on to video creation, however, you will find the word Help Center at the bottom, similar to Kling. If you click on it, you will find yourself on this page. Here, Runway offers a few tricks that allow you to create a suitable prompt for a better video result. If we now go back again, I will then click on Generate Video. This redirects me to the video creation application. At the top left, upload the image of your choice, then enter your prompt directly underneath. Select the model at the bottom left. Important, use Gen 4 to get the best results. However, you can't use all of Runway's functions with the latest version. Some things only work with Gen 3 Alpha. I also copy the two words muted colors into the prompt in Runway. Here you can set the duration and adjust the aspect ratio. The created video is then displayed on the right. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.